Hello guys, it's Laurie and I'm here with my daughter Caroline and we are making an Easter Bunny cake that we don't know if it's gonna work or not, so we're hoping, we think it'll work. We've done a cake kinda like it before and it worked okay. So we think it's gonna work, so we're gonna try it out. Um, also, I wanna tell you, you can totally download our totally free Easter menu plan and grocery list. It's got the menu plan and the grocery list and everything you need to make Easter dinner. Super, super simple. So if you're looking and struggling with what to do for Easter, this is a great way to go. As y'all are hopping on, if you can say hello, tell us what you're up to today. Tell me what is your one recipe. What's the one thing you have to make for Easter to absolutely make it feel like Easter at your house? I'd love to hear what you're making. What we make, and it's on this list over there, um, we make broccoli casserole, Paula Deen's banana pudding, which is the best. It's the best. It's really the best. Um, we do a slow cooker ham, gourmet potatoes. Do you like the gourmet potatoes? She doesn't remember them. <laughs> um, corn casserole and um, all of the list is over there. It's super easy. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Sarah. So glad to see you guys. Okay, so who's ready to see us make this cake? Are y'all ready? You want to show us what they're going to need? To make the cake, you need a bunch. You need a cake. You need a whole bunch of Kit Kats, lots and lots of Kit Kats. You need some eggs and or M&Ms. Or M&Ms. She was ha she was sad I didn't pick the M&Ms. And some ribbon. Oh, and you need some type of bunny. An icing. An icing. Okay. So we're gonna scoot this down, guys. Thank you so much, guys. If you can give, if you can give us a heart or a like, if you are um, making dinner, I would love to hear if you're making dinner for Easter. I'm gonna try to put this down there. Oh, let's see. That's not going to work today. Let's see if I can get this to go. Oh, that's not going to work. Hang on. There we go. Okay, can y'all see? Let me give me some hearts and likes. Oh, lots of y'all are making dinner. Awesome. Okay, so this is our cake, right? So this is super simple. What we're going to do is we've just gone ahead and we're going to frost it. And we're just using chocolate frosting. I totally used a box mix. I did buy some extra frosting um, because I always feel like a cake needs lots and lots of frosting. Like I like frosting <laughs> a lot. And you know what, this isn't even straight on here. Try to read through the comments. Someone says they're not making it dinner for Easter. You're not making Easter dinner. Some people go out for Easter. We, this is our big one to host. So all of our family is coming here. We have 15 people starting to head up here tonight. And I wish I had just gotten this cake straight. Carolina didn't get it straight at all. Ah, be careful. <laughs> Is it good? Mm, here, no. you hold this. We are not fancy cake decorators over here. So if you're looking for fancy, this really could be a Pinterest fail. Okay. So you're going to take your cake and you're going to frost it just like any chocolate cake that it would be. You know what I might need is some paper towels. I love extra frosting, so I'm actually using probably about a tub and a half because I just don't believe there's ever enough frosting. Can y'all see this pretty well? You host as well. I'm so excited. I, um, I actually love having people here. We don't have family in town, so for us it's just a really sweet gift to have people come. And so the fact that they're willing to drive six to eight hours to come be with us for Easter is really special for us. We're kind of the babies of the family. so. Um, Usually we travel for every other holiday, but this holiday is one where everybody comes to us. And so we think it's a really sweet gift. Okay, we are using, probably went a little bit overboard with the frosting. Is it possible to go overboard with frosting? I'm not quite sure. You're having meatloaf and corn and mashed potatoes. Are you having that for dinner tonight or for Easter? Okay, this is the easiest cake. Like it looks, at least I say it is. We've made it one time, but it's been quite a while since we made it. So I'm just getting it frosted, and it's not really going to matter what the top looks like at all, which is kind of awesome. And I'm betting you guys have seen something similar to this on Pinterest. Um, so I'm just going to get it frosted all the way around. I love this spatula. I don't know what kind of spatula it was. I got it back when I was long, long, long time ago, 20 years ago. One of my first jobs in college was working at Winn-Dixie in the bakery. And so they had these awesome spatulas. And so I got one just like what I used there. Um, I did not decorate cakes. I fried donuts at four o'clock in the morning every day. I do not recommend that job. It was horrible because I had to not eat the donuts. Okay, can y'all see this? Oh, somebody's having bacon wrapped asparagus. That sounds fantastic. 
Guys, if you click the link at the um, top of the video, you can download our free Easter menu plan, which is gonna tell you everything you need to make for Easter. Okay, so now we've got it frosted, and you can see it's not perfect, but now we're just gonna add some Kit Kats around. Are you doing one? I think we have to do them one at a time. I think we have to do them next to each other because I think otherwise they're not gonna make a good circle. We'll see if this fails or not. Go that way, not go this way. How many? We're trying to see the comments. You ordered a ham. Ooh, somebody's having chicken tonight. We haven't even figured out dinner. I'm gonna be cleaning all night long. I think my family, my poor family is so used to peanut butter. We're having peanut butter one more time tonight. And then we'll go from there. When was the last time we made this once for, was it your birthday or Reagan's birthday? Probably mine. This one's where I get the best cakes. Reagan, Caroline always picks the good stuff for cakes. She, I love what she always picks out. If you know someone who's looking for an easy um, cake to make for Easter, if you can hit the share this button, we sure appreciate it. It will help more people see it and it might help a friend snag a really yummy cake that's so simple. I think we need to do the ribbon next, don't you think? Because yeah, I think of the ribbon. We'll do this and then we'll show you the ribbon. Are yours sticking straight up? Yours look like they're going crooked. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe a little bit here. Okay. The nice thing is you can't mess this up. It's just Hopefully. candy, so it's always perfect. Hopefully. Hopefully. If you mess this up, you just get to eat it. True. You're having steak fajitas for supper. Yum. Somebody makes pineapple casserole. Do I fry or bake my peanut butter? We don't fry or <laughs> bake the peanut butter. We eat peanut butter and jelly, even though frying and baking it sounds amazing. Oh, you're making the, um, the ranch chip Sammy's from Eat at Homeland. That sounds so good. We made the meatball, um, the meatballs, the slow cooker with Hawaiian pineapple. meatballs the other day with pineapple, and I love them. My husband loved them. My son liked them. My middle youngest tolerated them, and this kid right here was not too impressed. So, but I figure four out of five is a pretty good thing. Okay, so let us wash our hands real fast. So now what we're gonna do, Philly steaks in the crock pot, that sounds yummy. Okay, now we need your all's help because this is our big decision right here. We have three, three types of ribbon. These are just ones we had. I don't think we need this one. No. I think this one or this one. These are ribbons we had on hand. So we need to know, give us a heart if you like the brown one. Let's do, just do two. Do those two. Give us a heart if you like the brown one and a like if you like the blue one, the white one. So tell us which ones you got guys like by the hearts or the likes. The only thing is that Cadbury eggs are what's going in the center, if that helps. So I'm leaning towards the brown one. But you guys tell us what ribbon you like to go with this. Which one did I say? Heart for brown? Heart for brown. Heart for brown. Oh, lots more White. blues. Okay. White. Stripes. Oh, somebody says the stripes. Stripes? Stripes seem more fun. Y'all are getting, y'all like the stripes better? I like stripes. I guess it doesn't. Let's try the stripes if we have enough. Sure. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Did you get the scissors out? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the reason we need this. Okay, y'all like the stripes? So he says the heart. Okay. Will, oh yeah, that's a good idea. She's gonna scoot it back for us. I'm gonna start with the stripes because it really doesn't matter, right? Oh, heart, y'all are, everybody's, I didn't even think of the stripes. I was against the stripes, but Reg and Caroline liked the stripes idea too. I'm not sure about how, okay, so we're just gonna tie a ribbon on. Now let me tell you my best secret ever. Miss Lucy in Calvert City, Kentucky, Hello, Miss Lucy, if you happen to be watching. She taught me how to do a great, great ribbon, and I love this because it's so easy. All you do to do a great ribbon is you do it upside down. So can y'all see how I'm going from the top down on this? There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna go from the top down, and then I'm gonna make my bow like this. So if you start with your bow on top, if that makes any sense, you will always have a perfect bow. I hope. A little big. It's a little bit big. We'll work on the bow a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so there's, I need, the needs, it's too big. I'm gonna have to make it tighter. Ugh. Make it higher. Make it go higher. 
go higher? Mm -hmm. I'll start filling them out. Well, hang on. We gotta put the uh, the thing in first. We gotta put the um, bunny. I think we put the bunny in first. Oh, is the bunny going upside down? No, the bunny's gonna stand. We're just gonna have him stand in the middle. I didn't show Caroline the. We saw a really cute one of these that we loved. There we go. That's tighter. Is that gonna work better? Okay. So we're gonna go like this. Hang on. Sorry guys, thanks for your patience. Okay, so you just wanna tie it tight enough and I just didn't get it tight enough the first time. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the bow. There you go, perfect. There we go, perfect. awesome. Okay, so we'll fluff with it up a little bit. Now you're gonna put your bunny on and two options, there's two super simple options. I was gonna go forward yeah, like I this think. way. Which way is he? You see, okay. There's our bunny, y'all see him? See how cute he is? Okay, now watch. No way, I think we use this one because I think we're gonna need two of those bags. We can save those. I think we need this whole bag. <laughs> okay, y'all watching? I hope I'm gonna knock the bunny over. Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you guys think? I think it's the cutest thing ever. Oh. She's gonna put lots of chocolate. Back. Don't fit the bunny. Okay, so now let's get the ribbon fixed. So y'all like, oh, we're gonna eat. I'm trying not to eat them. This is gonna be really hard because this is like my favorite food. So look how cute that is, guys. Seriously, like is that not the cutest thing? And how easy is that? Like it looks so stinking fancy and it totally is oh, just something we saw on Pinterest. So I'm gonna fix up my little ribbon over here. I'm gonna fix up my ribbon, and I need better scissors. Do we have our other pair of scissors? Mm -hmm. No, I need you my need better scissors. scissors. Yeah, go, go to the kid ones in the office. Okay, so I'm gonna fix up my ribbon, but it's so cute. So if you guys are looking for a totally, if you're struggling with what to make for Easter dinner, you can download our totally free printable Easter menu and grocery list. So this is, it doesn't include the stuff for the cake. You'll have to buy a cake mix as well. But um, it's our totally free Easter menu plan and grocery list is at the link above. So snag that in the link above. I'm gonna fix this little ribbon here. I always have to remember which way to cut in. I need to cut this way, don't I? So I'm so excited because we're making this for dinner, for the weekend. And it's so cute and it's so easy. Like sometimes I see things on Pinterest and they look so awesome. And then I go to make them and they're so hard. But this one was like, Seriously simple. Oh, good job. What do you think? I need to cut that one a little bit more. Hang on, let me cut that one down a little bit more. This hang one's on, too long. Pull it tighter. Like make it oh. smaller. Okay, hang on. I've got chocolate on there my fingers. Go. Did you get it straight? No, I just made it smaller. Let's go through. Let's do this. Get the bow smaller. Yeah. Okay. So seriously, y'all, so easy. And you can totally do different, um, I got chocolate all over me. I need to move this out of the way. Um, you could totally do, I would probably, I just had this ribbon on hand, so I didn't buy a ribbon for this. I probably would like it in a paler pink ribbon, but it's kind of festive and happy, and I like festive and happy. I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit more, there we go. So I'm gonna trim this down one more time. I can get it to go. I cannot believe how easy this one was to make and it actually totally worked. You never know until you do this Pinterest stuff if it's gonna work. But I think it's really, really cute. What do y'all think? Who's, yeah, I'm gonna look at your comments. You like the white with the pastel ribbon? I can totally switch out the ribbon so I could totally do that. But um, I think it's pretty darling and it was like, so super easy to make. Uh-oh, what? So I saw one on Pinterest that I really liked. They used a white chocolate bunny and I thought it was so cute. So, um, so super simple. Thank y'all so much for sharing the video. I really appreciate that you shared that. Guys, you saw we did that in how many minutes? Like under 15 minutes is all this took. So it's so super simple. How many Kit Kats? That's a great question. Do um, you want to count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23,
Okay, so you need 40 Kit Kats. So you can use 10. And there's four per each. And there's four in the smaller four in the ones. Small and eight in the big. So you would need four, five eight. of five king size. And how much were the king size? I don't know. The, okay, the Kroger had the smaller ones um, on two for a dollar. So you could get them at Kroger or you could um, get them. Let's see. So you either need five king size mm -hmm. or 10. Mm -hmm regular size. Does that help y'all? Hopefully put a double ribbon on the bottom. We may do that. Yeah. I thought this was so super simple. Such an easy little treat to make. We were excited about this one. So ah, there's Caroline. Okay. So if you are making dinner, hang on, that's too high. We may put a double ribbon. I love that idea. You need some pink candy. Yeah. That was the thing. I wasn't so sure about matching the ribbon. So, um, like I said, this was just what we had on hand. And so I love that it was super simple and we didn't have to get out and get anything. If you want to download your free Easter menu plan, if you're struggling with what to make for dinner, we have all of your stuff done. So your grocery list, your menu plan, um, all the things that we eat for dinner. We It also has, which I was impressed with myself last year, um, I asked my assistant, because we have so many people come into town, I actually went through the list of the order of how to do everything. It's on this one. Um, so it'll tell you exactly if you're serving brunch after church, it tells you what I do on Saturday, like I make my gourmet potatoes ahead of time, I make the broccoli cheese casserole ahead of time, I make the banana pudding ahead of time, I set the table for brunch. So it gives you my exact, like exactly what we do and how we get the whole list together. And then um, it also tells you what to do before church on Sunday, if you head to church on Sunday morning, um, and then what to do after church so that you can get dinner on the table super fast. Um, yeah, so it's super, super easy. The link to the menu plan is right there. Can I cut a slice? No, I'm not going to cut a slice because that would be, I, I would love to cut a slice, but then it wouldn't make it till tomorrow, which is when, well, Saturday or Sunday when we're going to eat it. Cut the cake. Listen to you guys. If we cut the cake, we will um, not be eating it. Yeah. Somebody said you can't seem to find it on Pinterest. Yeah. Just we Google um, Easter cakes. Google Easter cakes on Pinterest and you'll find these all over the place. But all it was, so all you need to make this one is um, a chocolate cake mix. Two, I would get two tubs of frosting to make sure. Yeah, chocolate or vanilla, whichever cake you like. Two tubs of frosting. What else? Um, 40 Kit Kats. Yeah. On Pinterest, I've seen it and done. m ms or Cadbury's. So you want the smaller mini Cadbury eggs or the other one. So um, I think it's two super fun, fun project for your weekend. And you can do it fast. And you, if you're awesome and lucky like me, you can have a cute girl help you out. So that's always fun. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you guys have the very best day. Have a fantastic Easter. I'm on the fence about being on live tomorrow morning. We're going to have family in town, and I'm not quite sure if they're going to be up for me <laughs> doing Facebook Live. If I do it, I'm going to show you how to make the gourmet potatoes, but you can download the recipe for the gourmet potatoes and everything else. And if you are in our Home Sweet Home Be Awesome in April Challenge, um, keep up with your stuff today. I did my housework, but I haven't even, I've done my regular cleaning, but I haven't gotten to the whole list today. So I hope you're joining us for that for sure, and I'll put a link in for that. Jelly Beans Denise would also be really cute. I thought about Jelly Beans as well. I love that idea. Um, how do you keep it fresh till the weekend? I actually have, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tent it. I think I'm going to use um, some foil and just tent over it, and I think it should be fine. The candy is going to stay fine, so the candy will be fine. I probably, because we've got family coming in tonight and we're going to need dessert, like we'll need dessert all weekend, I'll probably serve this tomorrow. We're not going to wait until Sunday to eat it. So if you're um, making it now, definitely do that. Elsa, it does not need to be refrigerated. All it is is a cake, so it's just a chocolate cake and a chocolate frosting so you're totally fine to leave it out I think over the weekend um, I as long as you keep it covered so I'm gonna just keep mine covered um, you could refrigerate it I guess but I'm afraid it would take up a lot of space so yeah I'll show it to you guys one more time and then I hope you guys have the best best um, weekend and if I don't I may be here tomorrow but I may not here's the cake one more time look how cute I'm telling you what, we impressed ourselves today. That was pretty fun. Yay for Pinterest and one things that actually work. Hope you guys have the best day, and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.